Yeah, just getting ready for a, a really well coached Vanderbilt team. Uh, Coach Stallings does about as good a job as anybody in the nation uh, of exploiting some of your weaknesses, both on the offensive and defensive end. And uh, on the offensive end, for them, they do really uh, do a great job running a lot of set plays um, to set those guys up in good situations to score the basketball. I think when you're playing at Vanderbilt, you, you got to make sure that you rely on your principles more so than just guarding their sets because they do a lot of they do a lot of sets, but more importantly, they have counters to those sets to exploit anything that you do as far as the way you're guarding the basketball. So. I think in the first game against them, Damian Jones got in early foul trouble, and I think he's a kid that's got a, a world of potential and is going to be a really good player in the SEC. And so I think having him available on the court to give him an inside presence along with their outside shooters and scores uh, will be a problem for us. For questions for Coach Ray, please press star one now. First we have Jerry Tipton and the Lexington Herald. Rick, I'm wondering uh, what you sense the mindset of your guys are going into the tournament. How do, how do you guys look at the tournament? You know, that's that's a great question, Jerry. And the one thing that we're trying to focus on is because we're playing Vanderbilt, we actually played a good game against them. It was a closely contested ball game. We had a couple chances to cut it to two points um, under two minutes, and we missed uh, point blank layups and a couple tip backs in. So, you can show them that you had some success against Vanderbilt at Vanderbilt. Um, so that's one thing that always helps. And I think the second thing is the fact that we went to the SEC tournament last year, and I think it was the first time that we won a, uh, a game in SEC tournament since 2008 here as a program. So I, I think you try to point to those two positive things because the negatives are very obvious. And uh, speaking of a negative, your depth situation, what uh – it's been a long season for everyone. How, how are you guys holding up that way mentally and uh, physically? Well, it, it's, it's, it's a problem, Jerry. You know, um, I, I don't think you can sit here and say that uh, we're on an even playing field with everybody else. Um, our first year we were playing with six and seven scholarship guys, and this year we played the whole season with seven and eight scholarship guys. And I think there's two things that we just don't have. Is One is we've never had the competition for playing time. And I think any program needs that. And I think the second thing that we don't have is I've never had my best teacher, which is the bench. And um, so you just need that in order to kind of have that competitive fire in your program all the time. But, you know, our guys continue to play hard. They, they Everybody's got their bumps and bruises at this point in time. Um, but uh, we're mentally fatigued as, well, as far as physically fatigued. But uh, our guys got to pull it together here for this stretch run. Thank you. 